There's a lot of confusion about city head versus regular head. And um, basically, uh, there's a couple of different ways to explain uh, all this. So uh, here's a, a fairly normal standard horseshoe. And here is your city head nail. And it drops right into the hole. And just that much of the crown is sticking out of, of the shoe itself. And that, that works pretty well. And you see alongside it, there's a regular head, same size, five regular head. And if you see that drops in and more of the crown sticks out. Now this may or may not be um, desirable. Uh, the reason why they call them city head nails is because they were used on paved streets originally because they didn't want these heads wearing off and um, protruding out and, and sometimes shearing or grabbing where they didn't want on pavement. Um, and which could, you know, grab a hole in the nail and actually shear it off. So the city head style nail was developed and it turned out that it's just a very handy nail. It's the right size for a lot of shoes and, and, and usage. Uh, a regular head nail will protrude out like this and actually on dirt give you a certain amount of minor traction. So that's pretty much the original idea of this. Going beyond that, when we talk about these regular head nails which tend to go into the bigger sizes, um, we're usually putting them on horses that are have heavier shoes. So when I say heavier, like this is a 5 16 cross section. And as we get into 3 8 and even half inch shoes, you need more nail head. Um, that would be in, in, in gated horseshoes and so on. So in, 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 in some cases it might be, you know, double the thickness of the shoe for a heavy gated shoe or a draft shoe. So you need more nail, more head of the nail to secure the shoe. And, and quite often they're punching those nails into deeper stock. So you need more nail head that will actually sink down um, into the shoe. The other good thing about a regular head nail for gated shoes and draft shoes, if you don't have a, a crease style shoe and a handmade shoe and you're just countersinking your holes, having a little bit of this regular head sticking out makes it a lot easier to grab a hold of the top of the nail and pull the, the, the nail out individually to remove the shoe um, as opposed to trying to pull out a uh, heavy draft shoe with, you know, four, seven, uh, four on the side or seven regular head nails that really has that on and it's, that's a lot of um, shoe to have to pry away from the foot. But if you could pull out the nails individually, the, the shoe will come off a heck of a lot easier. And so the regular head is used in gated shoes, draft or shoes and other heavy shoes. And the final thing that the regular head is, tends to use for, for some guys, is as sometimes the shoes are not worn out, but the nail holes start to enlarge and wear out. The, neg the regular head, again, will sink down in there and fill that hole pretty well. So another use of the regular head nail.